Hi everyone, I'm Virginia Kilmore and welcome to my studio. Today is Fast Card Friday, which always means I'm going to be doing a card that's quick and easy, that you can do in a flash, um, so that you can have a card that you need for somebody really quick. So let's get started. So isn't this a pretty card? Very simple, very clean, but very, very nice. I love it. Um, I love the idea of trying to stamp a wreath shape um, with this card. So to get started with this card, we're going to be using two stamp sets, one called Enjoy the Moment, which I use a lot. I love this, card, this stamp. In fact, this was the first stamp set I wanted out of the catalog, and I was so lucky. We got it for free. Um, I thought it was wonderful. I love the seed pods and just the look of it is wonderful. And then I'm using this one called Heal Your Heart, um, which is a free set from Celebration. So if you spend $50, you have just about another week left, um, or less than that, I think, um, till Celebration is over. So if you want something, now's the time to get it. Um, for every $50 you spend, you get a free stamp set. And this one would be one. I love the calligraphy. That's a set I wish they would carry over, but they never do. Um, so so um, to start with, we are going to be putting on an eight and a half by five and a half piece of card, a uh, basic white cardstock, a piece of pretty peacock uh, cardstock. And we'll set that aside to dry while we work on the rest of our card. I always like to get that done if I'm not going to be putting any ribbon or anything on it because then it doesn't move when it's time to put the card on there. And again, I always like to use my, my bone folder to sort of squish that glue in place, give it a little extra um, oomph. Hopefully I won't lose that today. So now what I need to do is make this wreath section. And what I did to do that was I, before I... Um, earlier I punched out the circle. Now if I had wanted to I could have punched it out before I put it in there but I'm going to set that in the center and stamp around it. Um, actually I'm going to use a smaller one because this is the large one. I want to use one a circle that is two inches not two and a quarter. So I'm going to go ahead and punch this out and tack that down. I find that easier to sort of stay within that shape um, by using this piece. Um, and I will get a little bit of stamping that doesn't quite fit, but that's okay. Um, so I'm going to start with the garden green because my biggest element that I want to do are these seed pods, and I want those set first. And I'm going to do them mostly in sets of three. So I'm going to stamp my seed pod like this. And you see that halo? That's going to be problematic if I had used the larger one. But since I'm using the smaller circle, I should be okay. Okay, and now I am going to go to the pretty peacock. And I can do my sentiment at the same time. I want to do them in this order because of the way they fill in. This seed uh, pod or whatever that is uh, will fit nicely like this, but I want to make sure that I get it in between. Okay, so now I have left is the um, the this, I don't know, the whirly gig I used to call them when I was a kid. So I'm going to do that next, but I'm going to go ahead and stamp my sentiment um, using the sentiment, wishing I could heal your heart. And I'm going to go ahead and punch that out with the same punch I just used. I, I'm using a two and a two and a half inch punch. 
Oops, I need to move that slightly so that I get it all in there. There. Oh, I can see I messed it up. It moved at the last minute. Well, I'm going to have to get another scrap piece of paper because I didn't plan well. Now, I could technically use that, but I'm just so afraid it'll be too dark behind there. We'll see when we pop it off. That's okay. I wasn't real happy with the stamping I did anyways, so now I will get what I want, where I want it. I don't have to worry about being so tight. Okay, so there you go. That gets put aside. And now I can close my pretty peacock and I'm going to jump to Granny Apple Green. So I am going to stamp in between those, here and there. I don't know if I'm going to stamp there. I'm going to just stamp here. Now I'm going to stamp there. I'm going to be consistent. Okay? And now the last thing are the little seeds, which I can use to sort of fill out areas that I want to sort of fill the shape. I think I actually am doing a better job this time stamping than I did the first time. I should turn it a little bit. Okay, I'm happy with that. So now what I'm going to do, oh, I want to do one more right here. Yeah, I definitely needed it there. Is pull this off. And I probably could have stamped on it, but I didn't want to take a chance. So I am going to glue this to this and then I'm going to lift it so that it sits really nicely on my card but let's get it on our card front first I'm going to go ahead and glue that isn't that pretty so pretty again I like to rub that in place, but I'm always so leery if it's still wet, so I'm always careful. Um, and then I'm going to get a dimensional, and we are just about done with our card for the day. I am going to use three dimensionals today, just to make sure that I cover that nicely. And I'm going to use my take my pick tool to lift all those dimensionals off. And now all I have to do is sort of center it. Um, sometimes I use my take your pick tool to help me really look and see where I want it. Because my hands get in the way. Here we go. That's good. Um, so there you go. Very simple, clean card. I hope you liked it. And um, I hope to see you next week. Um, at one o'clock. Thanks for watching. I so appreciate so many of you leave me wonderful comments or messages. Um, if there's something you'd like to see, just leave a comment. I'd be happy to attempt to do that. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Bye-bye.